This is the scene that leads up to the finale, so it's kind of the, the penultimate scene, if you will. And this is Anna's brother telling her that she should see her former lover, who we find out later was actually her former husband, in her bedroom. Not a very good piece of advice, as we'll see soon. All these things move, everything's on wheels to get a nice fluidity in the staging, so that means every time we stop we have to make sure things are locked, make sure no one's going to hurt themselves. I'm giving her some notes to help her fill this music. Sometimes in opera you have these wonderful little passages where you have to keep the story going even if they're not singing or saying anything. And then you see him come in, and that's when you make the decision to dismiss that, right? Yeah, they'll go this way, right? What I may actually do is even have a couple of them come in here, because you have two doors. Oh yeah, that's a cool moment, because it's like, where does Smitong, where, where, where could he escape and where does he end up having to hide away to watch the scene unfold? You can see that we're not rehearsing facing the mirrors. <laughs> it's all about connecting the moment, so how do you get from one place to another? and keep the momentum going and keep the stakes high. <laughs> it's cast a great sense of humor and such a nice asset to the process. This is the beginning of the scene that really draws it all to a close at the end of the first act. <laughs> 